Here in the state of Oregon, we're required to plant after we harvest. So nurseries are really important to the state of Oregon because we harvest actively. Our timber is a sustainable and renewable resource here in Oregon, and it's imperative that we then reforest after we have gone in and harvested the timber. And so we grow seedlings to then be put back on the landscape in the state of Oregon and across the Pacific Northwest. My name is Anya Hall and I work for Warehouser. I've been in the timber industry for almost eight years. Uh, I sell seedlings for reforestation as well as all of our Christmas trees in the Pacific Northwest. Uh, at this facility here, it's been open since the 60s uh, where we grow seed for reforestation uh, as well as the seedlings in the greenhouse and the bare root nursery. We have a seed orchard here at this facility as well as greenhouses where we grow container stock and then a bare root nursery where we grow bare root seedlings for outplant. Here at our greenhouses and our nurseries, we're growing seedlings that are specifically tailored to the final destination where they'll end up so that they have the best chance of survival and grow into the great final product that we're looking for. So we grow about seven different species here at this facility, including Douglas fir, Western hemlock, ponderosa pine, noble fir, grand fir, sitka spruce, and Western red cedar. So here in the greenhouse, we start all of our seedlings from seed, where we sow them into individual containers that then are placed out in the greenhouse from about February until April, where they're then grown through the summer to reach the full size seedling that you know and love, where they're then lifted in about December, pulled out of the container, placed in a bag, and shipped out to the woods to be planted on the landscape. We also grow bare root seedlings here at this facility, which are also started in a small container, but about halfway through the year, so come July or so, they are, when they're only a couple inches tall, they are taken out to the nursery and transplanted and grown for a full year before we lift them that following year for our customers. We run with about five warehouser staff who manage the oversight of the, the seedling growing, all of the site maintenance, keeping the place running, and then we partner with a labor contractor of upwards of about 100 plus people depending on the time of year, and we're a very seasonal business. When we're growing, things are a little bit slower. When we're lifting, packing, and sowing, things are quite a bit more hectic around here. So at the time of pack, when the seedlings are ready to be sent out to the foresters, they are hand pulled out of each of these blocks. So every seedling that you receive is touched by someone at this facility. They are graded on a line so the roots are pruned so that they fit perfectly in the planting hole. We make sure that the height and caliper is exactly what the forester is looking for. And that way when you open up your bag out in the woods, the seedlings match exactly what should be planted on the landscape. At any given time, we're actively growing roughly 15 million seedlings at this facility alone. We could be actively growing and caring for a seedling for up to two years before it's planted out in the forest. We take a lot of pride in having a sustainable supply of seedlings to be planted out on the landscape so that the forest can remain healthy and we can supply the forest products for future generations.